Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Porter. You've probably seen me around from time to time. My job is mainly about supporting your teachers and making decisions about curriculum, but in this video, I'll focus on the part of my job that has to do with making sure that you are growing in your math skills. I want to help you see that math actually does matter. As high school students, you aren't that far off from being in the real world. I know you sometimes think that the stuff you do in math class doesn't have much to do with your future. But here's the thing, you're wrong about that. Did you know the current fastest growing and highest salary increasing careers are STEM careers? In fact, STEM jobs are growing two and a half times more than the total of all other occupations. So what? Well, here's a hint. That M stands for mathematics, and the S, T, and E all depend on math skills. In other words, if you don't have good math skills, you don't stand a chance for these amazing job opportunities that are waiting for you. Even if you don't want to pursue a career in a STEM field, 94% of all jobs require at least some form of math. 94%, that's um, pretty much all of them. Your future employment aside, you can't do life without math. You'll need math skills for everything from keeping yourself from going broke to putting a fence around your future yard and just a few other things. So, here's the bottom line. We care about you and your future. And some of you don't have the math skills you need yet. The good news is, it's not too late. Together, we can change that. To start, let's take a look at where you stand currently and make a plan for getting you where you need to be. Please sign into iReady from Clever and click on Math. Then look up your first diagnostic score. You'll find it under My Progress and then Completed Work. Your teacher will give you a tracking sheet that looks like this. Record your first diagnostic score in the first column next to the range that your score falls into. Here's an example. Teachers, please pause this video here to assist students in finding and properly recording their diagnostic scores. Resume playback when the class is ready. If your score falls into the gray row for your grade level or above it, you are perfectly on track. All you need to do is just keep doing what you're doing. It's working. But if your score is below the gray row, you have some catching up to do. You can see the grade level equivalent on the column on the left. Take a moment to think about whether or not you think your score is an accurate reflection of your math skills. In the box on the top right, mark if your score is below, on, or above grade level. Do you think your score is accurate? If your score is where you think it should be or higher than you thought, it's probably on point. But Maybe you didn't really give that diagnostic test your very best effort, and it's showing you at a much lower level than your real skills. If you think you could have scored higher, let's try again. Talk to your teacher or email me about retaking the diagnostic test. Now, let's say you're one of the many students who find themselves well below grade level in your math skills. This can be quite concerning considering what I told you about how important this is to your future success in life and career. But don't freak out. It's not too late. We've got you. You may not have the skills yet, but you can get there. How? I am so glad you asked. Here are some tips for how to really grow those math skills. First, actively listen and participate in math lessons during class. Don't let yourself be distracted or zoned out. Take notes, ask questions when you don't understand. Stay focused. 
Next, use the resources your teachers give you. Video tutorials, help sheets, study guides, online activities, practice pages. These are all there to help you grow. If you have access to them, use digital lessons like Alex, iReady Online Instruction, Plato, and Khan Academy to help you catch up on skills you may not have mastered in previous years. If you don't have those tools available to you and you're serious about getting better at math, please contact me. I'll be glad to get you set up with a resource that will help if you're willing to do the work. Next, talk to your teachers. Believe it or not, they're on your side. Your teachers care deeply and they want you to succeed. If you're struggling, talk to them. They will help you. And finally, don't give up. Even baby steps are better than staying where you are or falling further behind. Work at it and you'll see your level climb higher and higher. No one expects you to leap to the top overnight. It's just super important that you are always growing your skills. If you have a big gap to close, don't focus on the finish line. Just focus on the next step in front of you and don't quit. It's all about your mindset. Here are a couple of thoughts from famous people to help you change the way you think about your future success. Three-point king Steph Curry has it figured out. He said, success is not an accident. Success is a choice. You won't ever be successful in school or in life until you choose to work for it. Thomas Edison is a famous scientist that I know you've all heard of. But did you know that his world-changing light bulb invention took over 1,000 tries before it was successful? This man of grit said this, Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to success is to try just one more time. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. And finally, Tennis legend Arthur Ashe said, Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. And that is exactly what we are asking of you. Wherever you are, high or low, just keep choosing to do your best every day and never give up. So let's get serious about growing those math skills. Your future depends on it, and it's looking bright.